Okay, so real quick, I just got through coloring this beautiful page for the Old Testament in my new Bible. It probably took me about two hours. I've been watching movies and stuff all day, just kind of having a chill day as my day didn't go as planned. So I just decided to just focus on drawing the, um, the first page of the Old Testament. And I think it came out so beautiful. I love the colors. My bird, he's a little um, flicked, but it's okay. He's still cute. My nails kind of match <laughs> the color scheme. So this is the first of many pages I will be coloring in my new Bible. So I thought I'd just share this with y'all. Oh, I just saw something that's not done. I need to fill that in real quick. Happy Sunday and happy Mother's Day to all of the women out there in the world, whether you're a mother or not. I believe that all women should be celebrated on Mother's Day because I'm sure in some what shape or form you've been a mother to someone um, within your lifetime. So happy Mother's Day to everybody. Um, this is very impromptu. I was not expecting to vlog today, but I figured why not? Um, my plans kind of got canceled not kind of it did get canceled this weekend as everybody's plans have been canceled since this whole quarantine but i was truly set to go home yesterday um but then something happened so i was not able to go home and spend mother's day with my um my mom my aunt and my grandmother uh so yeah so i ended up just staying here in chattanooga um, so yesterday I just kind of chilled, um, I kind of took the day to kind of actually relax. Um, I typically don't really relax. Like if I'm at home, I'm, I'm always like doing something like I'm up moving, doing something or whatever. And so yesterday I actually took the time to like watch movies, um, catch up on some shows that I either used to watch or I've never watched before. I'm not a big TV and movie type person. Um, Cause to me, I feel like I'm wasting my time by sitting there for like hours watching TV, even though I do that with YouTube. Anywho, um, so yeah, so I just did that, and um, I also spent some time in um, my new Bible where you know I can actually draw, uh, not draw. I don't know why I keep saying draw, but color in it. So I will insert a clip of what I ended up coloring yesterday, and so for now, I just kind of wanted to. Um, show y'all what I just picked up from the grocery store as you can see back here I went grocery shopping well of course I did my like Walmart online pickup but some of the stuff that I ordered they didn't have substitutes for so I just didn't get them so it kind of forced me to go to Aldi real quick to pick up some items that I really wanted to get like I didn't want to go into Walmart because I'm pretty sure it was super crowded in there but when I went to Aldi, it was literally like 10 people in there. So I just opted to go to Aldi and I got the rest of the things that I needed. So without further ado, let's get started on the grocery haul. Okay, I'm not going to be in the frame for this. I'm just going to just show you real quick what I got. So as you can probably tell, I'm really trying to be healthy this week, but I don't know how much that's going to last. Um, I really wanted to focus on just a lot of fruits this week so i was thinking i could do a mixture between like smoothies and like smoothie bowls per se um uh most of the stuff came from walmart and then a few of this came from aldi and then i got some stuff that i got from target as well i went to target yesterday as well so real quick um just to run through um, this is a papaya, 99 cents at Aldi. I think I was originally going to get it from Walmart, and I'm pretty sure they were charging $5 for this papaya. If I'm not, I'm going to check that, but I'm pretty sure they were going to charge me $5 for this papaya. So, yeah. So, this is 99 cents. Well, you know what? I mean, I don't know. That's kind of a stretch. It might have been 99 cents per pound at Aldi. I'll have to check my receipt on that, too. Don't quote me. But, anywho, papaya. Um, I think this is about 12 bananas. 
Um, I actually cut and freeze my own bananas because it's a lot cheaper than purchasing like pre-frozen bananas. They charge you like $3 for like a half a bag. Nobody has time for that. You can do it yourself. It takes like two seconds. Uh, got some granola. These are the dark chocolate kind. And then these are the oats and honey clusters. Uh, granola is kind of like high on the calories. Like this was like the lowest one I saw. This is 120 calories per third of a cup. I plan to use those in my smoothie bowls. Uh, some ground flax seed smoothie bowls and just a regular smoothie. Uh, I got some frozen fruit options, blueberries, blackberries. Uh, I looked up on this. I actually wanted to get this bag, but this bag was like $9 and I was just not going to do that. So I ended up just ordering like the smaller bag like this of peaches and I think maybe pineapples, but they didn't have any. So they gave me the big bag instead. So it's the, the little things in life that matter. So I'm super excited because it has kiwi, uh, cantaloupe grapes all that kind of stuff so i'm super excited about this fruit salad blend uh some coconut yogurt coconut milk yogurt this is like my favorite brand this is actually my favorite um flavor key lime is the best but i got key lime uh blueberry i think this is chocolate um strawberry and banana and then regular vanilla again to put in my smoothie bowls and my smoothie some raw honey this actually came from aldi as well that was like five bucks uh pomegranate juice to also put in my smoothies and here's the thing this is what i do y'all i'm so like scatterbrained i'll go on pinterest and i'll look up like certain smoothie recipes but i won't save them but i'll like buy the the stuff to make the smoothie then once i buy the stuff i'm like oh what did i buy this for and whatever so yeah so that's what i that's why i have pomegranate juice because i saw a really good smoothie on pinterest and they use pomegranate juice and i think frozen strawberries so yeah uh, i got a fresh pineapple i don't think it's ripe enough i don't know how can you pineapples and what is the other fruit watermelon i can never tell which one is good or not i just pick it and i just let the lord lead me so yeah that uh two cucumbers y'all i discovered this a while back um i started putting some cucumbers in my smoothies and it gives you like a refreshing type of taste it's really really good like don't knock it until you try it um but you can actually taste the cucumber and to me cucumber is just like a refreshing like water taste so i got two of those to add uh some already pre-cut mangoes i hate cutting mangoes i know it's a lot cheaper to just buy like an actual mango and cut yourselves but i suck at it so i went ahead and just splurged and bought this little container for five dollars uh two things of strawberries one from aldi one from walmart and i'm crazy this one was from walmart and this one was for all from aldi and then of course uh i haven't had a chance to try the aldi one that everybody's been raving over um they had they have like three different flavors this was the one they were out of, so I always go by the one that they're out of. That's like the best one, so I'm guessing this is the best one out of all of them. So, yeah, so I'm going to try that today. And then also from Aldi, uh, need some trash bags, uh, some mouthwash, random stuff. And then, so yesterday, when I found out that I wasn't no longer going home, I ended up going to Target, um, again, to see if they had more germ mix, because I was going to buy some. For my family to take uh with me but yeah that didn't happen anywho so i ended up just buying some more vitamins i actually bought these vitamins this is not from target this is from walmart i bought this like last week these are just the gummies i hate taking pills y'all i know i'm like a full grown adult and i can't even take pills i hate taking pills i like gummies i don't eat candy so this is considered my candy when i take them so i got the uh the vital craves uh women's one a day gummies you take two of these a day um, I got these uh, Vita 5 at Target. It has like elderberry, so it's supposed to be really good for your immunity system. Immunity system? Is that even a word or a phrase? No. It's good for your immunity. Uh, these are like $10. These are really good. Um, take two a day. And then I got some magnesium. These are really big ones. Um, two a day on these as well. Got these from Target as well. And then I actually got some more stuff from Target. Look at my freezer, y'all. All quarantine stuff. 
just yeah ridiculous i got some of these uh asia uh super fruit packs i got the one with no sugar and then the one So again, I bought these at Target. I think they're like six dollars. I think for four. I know that's a little pricey, y'all, but I'm uh, gonna like not So yeah, you know, those are uh, these thin mints. Girls got the kids. Yeah. Anywho, so yeah, that's all I got from grocery shopping. I also, I know y'all. I also went to Hobby Lobby. I have not been to Hobby Lobby in months. And I finally saw that they were open yesterday. So I just went in and just got a few things. So I'll show y'all that real quick too. So let's go check those out. Okay, so here are the stickers I got from Hobby Lobby. They had all of their um, paper studio stuff on sale for 50% off. So I literally got all of this on sale for 50% off. So I didn't really know what kind of stickers I wanted. I just went for the ones I thought they were super cute. So they had these neon looking ones and I thought they were super cute. So I got some neon butterflies and some cute little neon birthday stickers that I put in my planner. Um, I got some cute little like uh, succulent plants as well. I love these, these are so cute. And then I got some glitter food stickers and then I got these cute little food stickers as well but these are more like <laughs> like junk food I don't even know why I bought these I think I bought them because they were cute because they had like the faces and the arms so I got those um some more um succulent cacti type plants home plant stuff super cute uh I got some faith like faith phrases stickers um these are like gold foil stickers super cute and then i got some animal stickers because i want to say sometime this week i want to read um the portion in the bible where it talks about um noah noah's ark and you know the lord telling him to you know get all the animals two by two so i figured i could use these to help me decorate my uh my bible now obviously i'm not going to use the the zoo stickers but i'll use the actual animal stickers to decorate that and let's see i got some of these big stickers die cut stickers these are faith related stickers i think i'm actually going to use this to decorate the outside of my bible and my notebooks that I used to write my devos and my prayer journal and all that stuff so that's that and then more faith spiritual stickers just these are like silver foil type stickers and then these are just regular black ones half of these stickers I'm pretty sure I can make myself and I'm just too lazy y'all and I had just recently bought sticker paper to make stickers and I'm just Y'all just pray that the Lord gives me the patience and the strength and the creativity to actually start doing stuff with the stuff that I buy. Like I have tons of crafting stuff that I don't even use. Um, anywho, get off that soapbox. Uh, more stickers. I actually got these cute little sticker books. Um, I love this one. This is a Faith sticker pack from um, the Paper Studio. And you probably can't tell on camera but it's like a different type of material like it's a smooth matte type of material but it's just some phrases that are faith related so I got that again half off so this is what 350 and then I got um, the agenda 52 sticker pack this is seasonal um, I only got this one because I typically buy their individual ones where they have like the little girls all dressed up and cute for each like holiday or theme. And instead of buying an individual individual pack, I was just like, well, let me just buy the actual like pack. So they have like over 800 pieces. So yeah, so that's that. I, I don't know why I love, love the little girls. I think they're cute. I love the mermaid. Isn't she cute? So yeah. Look at her, look at her. She's 
They're so cute. So yeah, so that's that. So that's all the stickers I got. And then I also, like I said, they all their paper studio stuff was on sale. And so I didn't realize this was considered a paper studio notebook. And I got it for half the price. So it was just $5. And I've been searching for like a prayer journal type notebook. I knew I wanted to be a little bit big. I knew I wanted to be spiral. And this is everything that I need. I've already made two entries. I won't really show you that because obviously it's personal. But I've already made two entries in here. Um, so yeah, I really want to get another one. Um just to have because I really like that it says blessed and just like the colors um so yeah so all that from Hobby Lobby yesterday and then also from Target I bought the 100 uh pack of the color pencils again I just bought them to help me decorate my um my bible here so let me show y'all what I've been working on I worked, I just started on that this morning. So that's a mixture of uh, color pencils and markers. And then I'll show you what I worked on, which like I said, I, I think I'm gonna add the clip of me working on this. But yeah, that was what I worked on yesterday. My bird, I know my bird is, she, she's looking a little lost, but it's okay, <laughs> it's okay. I just like the color schemes I use in here. and. When I was using the markers, I had to have like a um, a piece of like scrap paper so it wouldn't like bleed. Like at first when I did it, it kind of bled through. So I had to use a little paper to kind of help it from bleeding onto the other pages. So yeah, so that's that. Uh, and then also from Target, I bought this little electric pencil sharpener. It, oh, I just noticed it has glitter on it. That's cute. Uh, For obvious reasons, for the color pencils. So when they break, I can, you know go ahead and sharpen them and I think that's all that I got y'all y'all still got my bag back from yesterday I'm so sad but it is what it is I know a lot of people um aren't able to share Mother's Day with their mothers or grandmothers or aunts and sisters and stuff like that so I'm okay um but I was just just really really sad yesterday so if anybody reached out to me yesterday and I didn't answer that's why because I was like in my feelings about it so yeah y'all real quick these highlighters if I could just buy like a lifetime supply of these highlighters, I would. I just realized that these things on the ends are the erasers. You can erase highlighters. I feel like they didn't have this stuff when I was in school. But yeah, these are my faves. Um, these these pastel Pilot G2 pens. Like again, I wish I could buy like a lifetime supply. I love 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 these pens. So. So yeah, y'all, that's pretty much all that I got this weekend. So I need to put up this stuff because I'm pretty sure all of my frozen fruits are melting at this time. So I'll check back in with y'all later. Also, I forgot to mention, since it wants to be like Black Bear Winter or whatever, I had to bring in all of my plants inside so they wouldn't freeze to death because of the frigid cold weather, I'm, I think. The last two nights, it's been like in the 40s and 30s, if I'm not mistaken. So they've been in here for the past, I think this is day three. Um, and I'm about to set them back out because they got to go. They're, they're taking over my craft space or whatever. And I'm not to really care for this tomato plant. Like it looked like it's growing, but it looked like something is getting to some of the leaves. So I need to take some of these leaves off but yeah they just been chilling in here they're still they're still getting some of the sunlight they're warm but they gotta go like they just gotta go so i think i'm gonna put them back out um so they can catch more sun outside okay so i'm back y'all what am i gonna do with my hair i feel like at this point girl just get some dreads like I have been loving my quarantine braids. I braid my own hair. Um, and like this season, the whole um, like knotless braid style is in style. So I kind of did that on my own hair, but my hair grows super fast. So like by week, week by day, like three or four, it looks like I've had my braids in for like 
three or four weeks. So right now she's looking real dusty and crusty. I try to put some edge control and a little bit of holding spray to kind of hold down my flyaways, but more and more it's looking more like some dreads, <laughs> but I don't think I would ever get dreads. I like I like to change my hair up too much to have dreads. I think it's beautiful on other people, but for me, I just I like to change my hair too much to to wear dreads or whatever. So, yeah, I'm just chilling. Uh, not that there's not much to do. Um, kind of sucks to be quarantined on a holiday. Uh, so yeah, I just been sitting here just playing my uh, I'll show you my Animal Crossing. I'll show you my my girl if you can see it but i just been playing animal crossing all day i'm on like level 41 uh so yeah i just been sitting here doing that i really need to uh do some bible journaling right now i think that's what i'm gonna end up doing and this will probably be like the last that you'll see me in today's vlog um again like i said earlier oh yeah my arm is hurting hold on one second oh uh, as I was saying earlier, um, this was kind of like an impromptu type thing. Wasn't really planning on vlogging at all, but my plans uh, changed. And so I ended up staying here um, in Chattanooga. Uh, so it's just been like a chill, relaxing weekend. Um, just been doing like my normal stuff that I typically do. Get food and eat and relax. That's pretty much all I do <laughs> besides like work but I don't work on the weekends anymore but yeah but yeah I don't know I um kind of wanted to talk about like when your plans change like the feelings that you have and all that kind of stuff and if you're uh, if you're someone like me I always like to think that there are reasons for things that happen and so Yesterday when I wasn't able to go home, um, I don't think I was like, I, initially I wasn't mad because I thought to myself, well, maybe this is um, like God's way of saying, okay, well, maybe, maybe he's protecting me for something that might have happened on his, like, I don't know. I think, I think like that, um, which may sound weird, but that's how I think. Um, I'll say seven times out of ten I think that way, but then other times I'm just like upset about me not getting my way. But um in yesterday's case, I was just kinda like, well maybe, you know, he was just trying to protect me from something. I don't know. But um after I got back home I was really sad, so I just started just to um, you know, read a couple scriptures and listen to some like YouTube like like videos where I can relate to like you know I whenever I'm feeling a certain way I typically just go to YouTube and I'll type in like how I'm feeling and like I'll just see other people's videos pop up and they usually talk about you know how they deal with the feelings or whatever the case may be and that typically makes me feel a lot better and that's basically what I did uh, later on yesterday I just kind of just took some me time which I always take me time but um yesterday I did a little extra me time so so yeah so just thinking about how you know in this day and time how so many things that we all have planned um have been kind of you know canceled uh especially speaking to like the seniors um high school seniors, college seniors, like, you know, a lot of people that were supposed to be graduating are not having like a physical ceremony, um, yet they're still graduating, but they, you know, weren't able to celebrate the, um, the enjoyment of finally ending, you know, a huge milestone, milestone, um, which is, you know, going through school and stuff like that. So, um, I feel for all those people, um, but I know that, you know, that something's greater is going to come out of all of this. So anybody who's a senior, anybody that's graduated, anybody that was getting married, anybody that was having a birthday, like anybody that had 
something planned and you know it was canceled due to this whole quarantine thing like I truly believe that there's something better um, that will come out of this situation so don't get you know discouraged and um, I need to take my own advice because I was really discouraged yesterday but I'm a lot better today obviously you can tell um, I was just yeah but yeah so I would just say you know just don't be discouraged and um, like I said, I'm, I'm the type of person to always think about like, well, why something did or did not happen. So if something didn't happen, then I always think of it as, well, maybe that's God protecting me from something. Like, I don't know. It's just, that's just how I think. And I feel like I'm, I'm rambling at this point. <laughs> so I'll probably, uh, end the video here. Um, real quick. I just hope everybody had a very, very good weekend a very good happy mother's day um hopefully this is gonna be like the last holiday that we have to um you know celebrate quarantine or we can't be around our loved ones and stuff like that you know so yeah so uh i hope y'all enjoyed this vlog i guess this is a vlog like this is just literally me just vlogging one day which is today sunday on mother's day and it was just me just showing you all my groceries and my stickers like how boring of a person <laughs> am i where all i do is shop for groceries and stickers like I, at, in high school i would have never imagined me being that adult that that finds joy in like stuff like that like you know, buying groceries, well, especially now, because it's like, you know, like I said, you can't really go out and do anything. So buying groceries is like a treat. Going out to pick up your groceries is a treat. <laughs> Even with getting stickers for your planner or whatever it is, is a treat. And um, I'm sure I'm not the only one that, that thinks like this, but I'm sure once all this is over with, we will all humble ourselves and be very grateful and gracious that we're able to go out and go to stores and you know buy things that we need and we want um so yeah so again i'm rambling at this point i don't even know what i'm saying at this point so uh hope you like the video and i this is me being scatterbrained my last video i totally forgot to say please make sure you like share comment and subscribe to my channel so i'm saying it now so please <laughs> be sure to give this video a thumbs up comment if you like um let me know how your mother's day was or let me know how how you've been feeling during this whole quarantine another thought that i had was that i really wanted to start doing like um mental check-in type videos where i just create a video to to let you all know like kind of how I'm feeling mentally and all that kind of good stuff because you know some days I have very high energy and I'm very positive and um, optimistic but then there's other days where I'm like a Debbie Downer and I just don't want to be bothered and all that kind of stuff so I don't know I was, I was thinking about doing some type of video um, like that because I think it's really good to show people that it's not always rainbows and butterflies um it's compromise it moves us along which is a quote from a maroon five song if you know that song then comment down below and tell me what song that 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 is it's one of my favorite songs for them i love maroon five it's like my favorite um band although they've went extremely mainstream and i don't think they make the the songs like they used to like songs about jane like that was that was really good but anywho um what was i even talking about i'm just rambling y'all i'm thirsty i need some water let me, let me grab some water so again don't forget to give this video a thumbs up comment share share my video like it on my facebook page um share it on your instagram story whatever you please um and subscribe if you're not subscribed to my channel um so yeah bye